My name is Maxwell Berger, and I'm about to hit 90 wheel speed, and hopefully high 80s GPS. Uh, we're gonna be using a race box, and uh, I'm just gonna send it. Gonna be safe about it. I have the leather suit. I have knee pads under the leather suit because this really isn't that good of a knee pad, so. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna have gloves, full face helmet, obviously. And uh, see what happens. Gonna be, gonna be ramping up the speed, so. Starting at about 85 wheel speed, and then one mile an hour at a time, up, up, up. Just gonna be listening for the beeps and shouldn't be hitting any like super high PWMs, but uh, probably somewhere close to high 80 PWM. We'll see. And you have your dad here, of course? My dad came here, yeah. That's super awesome. Super pumped. Yeah, so you're really nervous. Story. Don't be nervous. Well, nervous, especially at these speeds, but... It shows you're human. Yes, I am not, uh, not well, Best of luck to you, Maxwell Berger. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be here if you need us. Alright, we are doing some more pedal firmware today. Got Mark again, like usual. And uh, this is our new testing area because it's wet. It's very wet. And uh, we don't want to slip out, so... It'll be fun testing here. All right, we have been here for about two hours. 5.08, I think we started closer to 2.30 actually, so two and a half hours. Uh, sitting most of the time, trying to get the wheel to actually balance. So something that Mark changed made it so when we put it into drive, it actually wouldn't go into drive, but it would have just enough power to like kind of keep it balanced. It was just very underpowered, so we had to change some things. Finally got it working again. I started riding it with this new uh, new balancing firmware. It feels pretty good. Uh, it seems much more adjustable than the old issues we were having where like it was like change of value, see if it works, change of value, see if it works. This one it's like change of value and it seems to work. So uh, right now he set it so that's 10 degrees of forward tilt at five degrees per second. So if you lean hard for two seconds, you'll get to 10 degrees forward, which feels very steep. So I think we're gonna put it maybe closer to like five degrees and uh, maybe make it closer to eight degrees per second so it'll get there faster. And then we're gonna start working on braking and then, yeah, so right now coming out of a turn or going into the turn, it'll make the pedals flat, but still during acceleration and braking, it will, still allow the pedals to move so once you start leaning over the wheel it'll start flattening out even if you're accelerating or braking which uh, feels much more like a pagode which is what we're going for so yeah stay tuned hey max what's up we've been here for how long like four and a half or five hours i think we started when the day was still bright and now it's really dark it stopped raining too mark's going hard on the coating all we're doing today is testing firmware, pedal firmware. What can you tell those at home in terms of the people who want to make sure they can tune their own open source firmware? It should be pretty adjustable. We're doing, um, so you can adjust the angle, it'll lean forward when you accelerate. Angle, it'll lean back when you decelerate. Uh, the rate at which it leans forward and backward, the rate at which it returns to center, uh, the angle at which it'll flatten the pedals as you turn, there's, there's so much. And, uh, and how easy is it? Or how easy does it seem? Well, right now it seems impossible. <laughs> 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 but uh, when, it's, when it's on your screen, it should be just a plus or minus. It, it should be easy, but uh, right now, since we're doing it for the first time, it's not easy. <laughs> as you can tell by being here for like five hours. Would you say this experience gives you more respect for those that do programming for these wheels? I, and I assumed it took a while, and wow, it takes a lot longer than I assumed. <laughs> we've, we've done like, this is probably the fourth day of just pedal firmware tuning. Yeah, this is, this is a lot. It's so it's just, not just PIDs, is it? <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it is. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, uh, he's, he's changing the whole code of, how this thinks, uh, yeah, it, compared to that wheel, it's, it, it feels completely different in a bad way. 
but in the end, it should be better. We're, we're getting there still. It's, it's a work in progress. It's, early, it's early days still. Like This is the first day we're testing this specific yeah, this is uh, feature. Whole, whole, let's see, does it stop? I don't know. I don't know why the All camera right. stopped. It shut off for some reason, but... Uh, so for those at home who, who keep saying they want open source programming and open VESC and they want to change their own settings... It's not going to be quite that open source, but it'll be much better than a Bagode and much easier to use than a Leaperkin. Yeah, you, this, the settings will actually have names that make sense. <laughs> do you, if this firmware, if we're able to get this firmware to work properly, do you think there's still a need for people who want to do this open source thing? I mean, as a hobby, yeah, but as a, like, if you're that deep into the hobby, yeah, but if you're a casual rider who's not looking for a DIY solution, this should be plenty. Cool. Good luck, Max. Thanks. <laughs> Faster! Faster! Push! Push! Oh. Oh, let me down. Let me down. <laughs> oh. <laughs>